You've told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I I ain't a person who understands all the clockwork of our romance. You make me feel so Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Justine and today's video we are tackling a few areas in my house that I have kind of been neglecting in a way. I would really like to declutter and organize my master closet in today's video and I would also really like to get to the closet in the master bathroom because it's just gotten out of hand and it needs to reorganize and kind of just put back together. And then I also have to hit the bathroom. In general, the vanity is disgusting because we came back from South Carolina and I have yet to finish unpacking. <laughs> I only unpack the things that I use daily. And then I need to take the bedding off my bed and give out kind of like a deep clean wash the bedding. And then I wanna put some like deodorizer down. But anyway, I know I'm rambling and telling you all of my plans for today's video. There will be more to come as well throughout this video. So make sure you are hitting that subscribe button and that alert bell. I am a military wife, so my husband is currently away, and I have three children that I have to deal with. I love them to death, but I have to deal with them <laughs> all the time. They are home with me, and I work from home full-time, so I kind of do two jobs at once. I work from home, and then I also have my kids full-time, uh, except for when the older two are in school. The youngest one is still not school age, and he will not be for two more years. He is three. Anyway, uh, my channel is all about cleaning, decorating, organizing, DIY projects, and overall homemaking for parents with a busy schedule and just need help maintaining their home. So I hope today's video gives you tons of motivation and I hope you'll either kick back, relax, and watch along or clean with me and let's just jump into today's video. If you're gonna be moving on solo, wait a second cause they're playing the best song. I'll be there if you reach out to me. love using baking soda or bake or whatever it's called I'm drawing a blank all over my bed because it just gets the odor out I use it on my carpet too and I know a lot of people are like iffy about that but it does get the smell out so it's kind of like a double-edged sword in a way but it does work and I love using it on my bed
us But you've kept me far away from my focus And to my heart I cannot lie Stars made of stars Up above made to fall Stars counting stars And they guide me through the dark Lonely days left in despair Air is getting heavier But I do my best to breathe I don't know what happened when I stopped it to take the hamper out, but the motor just like stopped working. I don't know. I'm going to try. I don't know if it's the motor or if it's from the, the baking powder. Like I've used this vacuum a ton on baking powder and I've never had a problem. I know that some people are very iffy about putting powder into their vacuums, but it just really gets that odor out of the carpet and I love it. And it just makes everything feel so fresh and smell good. And I just use it on my bedding because for that reason, because of the just dogs and stuff and kids, but I don't know what happened to it. It just stopped working. So I ended up just pulling out my Hoover blade and va finishing vacuum, which by the way, I did call about the canister. I did call Hoover to see if they had a replacement part for it. However, they updated their Hoover blades. They have a new line. So they stopped selling the canister. So my only option is eBay or just keep it taped. I'm trying to figure out if I would want to do eBay because I know there's a lot of scams on there. So I don't know, but I love my Hoover blade. It's such a powerful vacuum. I can use it upstairs and I feel like it actually does a really good job on the carpet too, as well as hardwood. It's very powerful and I have two batteries for it. So when one dies, I can just switch the battery really quick. It comes out like a drill battery would and you just slide it on the little charging port. It's just so much easier than a battery that doesn't come out and you have to wait for it to charge every single time. I do love it though. I wish I could have gotten that canister from Hoover, but it is what it is. <laughs> Now that we got that out of the way, we're going to head into my master closet and you can just see how messy <laughs> this is. I have not organized it since we moved in pretty much and there is just stuff everywhere. We had to put stuff up here when we did the floors and I just have not gotten to fixing it. And then just things everywhere. I think those are Pokemon cards up there to figure out what I'm doing with those or find a better solution. Cause that just looks terrible. <laughs> like I just, I want a better solution in here. I'm going to use the organization that I already have for now. I plan to hopefully do Ikea pack system, but there's no guarantee right now. It looks like we're going to have the wire shelving. Cause I don't know if I'll even get to this before we move. And I don't know if I want to spend that kind of money on something that's not going to be ours for longer than four years. So I don't know, but I'm definitely going to need a stool because that's super high for me. Um, the ceilings are really high and then all of my clothes. And then my husband has this little area for his civilian clothes. And then this is like his military stuff over here. And then our shoes. I do eventually want to get some cubicles down here or something for the shoes. Cause I don't like, we just have too many now. I went from having like two pairs of shoes and that was sandals and a pair of like white sneakers or something to work out in. And now I have way too many shoes. Um, I'm going to try to declutter, get rid of some clothes that I won't even wear. I already started right there cause I'm never going to wear those, but yeah, let's get started. Dreams of green and filled with this Life is so much more than this So where do you go When nothing's like home
to bring But I do my best to bring some green and filled with this Life is so much more than this So where do you go when nothing's like I'm trying to organize this how I would want it to a little bit more functional a little bit more eye appealing um, I'm gonna go through the clothes that I have here currently and my husband's clothes and just get rid of things that we don't wear or just have not touched in over six months to a year because I am one of those people that I don't like to hang on to clothes that I'm never gonna wear so I do try to go through my closet probably once or twice a year and declutter and then take the stuff to donate because it just isn't worth it to keep it in my closet cluttering space when I don't use it. that we already have in the house. I did not go buy any new organization currently because one, we just came back from a really expensive vacation from Hilton Head. And then two, we are actually having a cruise coming up. And then birthdays, my son, Liam, who's five, his birthday is in August. And then my three-year-old's birthday is in September. And then my 11-year-old's birthday is in November. And then my husband's is December. And then obviously you have uh, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas and plus decor. So I put all of that into perspective and I just store like just sometimes the good quality, the very nice storage solutions, containers can be really expensive. I don't know why in today's society we are just normalizing how expensive things are. I am trying to be realistic on my channel. I have always strived for that for you guys because I never wanted you to think that you needed to buy stuff to be happy or consume all of this unnecessary junk that's why i try not to put a whole bunch of sponsorships into my videos i do like them granted i do like doing sponsorship videos but and i do get asked quite a lot i skip over a lot of them just because one i don't have the time to cater to a brand and two it sometimes it's just not worth it you know sometimes the products are just not there 
Um, but I do like to do the ones that I know that I can put my whole backing behind and show you guys. But anyway, I really don't want to force you guys or give you the impression that you need to keep spending all this money to have a happy life. Cause it's not true. I mean, I was on TikTok for a while. I'm still on TikTok. I do YouTube. Uh, I do both, but I try not to do hauls or shopping hauls or decor hauls. I do. I do do them. Don't get me wrong. But I try not to do them as often because I feel like it's unrealistic for a normal person on a normal income, especially with kids, to be expected to buy all of this stuff. And I feel like when we're consuming TikTok and we're watching TikTok, it makes you believe that you need to have these things to be so happy and to keep spending your money. But you don't need to. I mean, I have a list on Amazon for my new car that I'm getting that I want to get all of these things because I saw it on TikTok and I have this huge list and I'm like $200 later and I'm like, do I really need it? It's still sitting in my cart. You know, I had to back away and then I'm like, oh, I need this for my office. I need this for my office, which granted I can claim a lot of my office supplies and YouTube supplies and taxes, but it is very hard to do all that. So anyway, I'm going to get off my soapbox. I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm using my current containers and what storage I already have to do this deep clean and organize and declutter because it just was not in my price point to come back and try to do all that. That took a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but we finally got it all situated. So I guess we'll start on this side. I put my storage cubes over here for when we are traveling. And then up here are all of my like dress pants, dress skirts, dresses, all of those things. And then I decided to leave this open because I have these right here and you need to be able to get to them because everything just hangs too low, I guess. And so I just made one like my bathing suits. This one is like my gym clothes and like shorts. And then this one over here is my husband's swimsuits and shorts. And then I decided to put all of his stuff down here on this shelf, the whole way across. And then I put some of his military t-shirts and hoodies over there. And I don't know why I was not focusing there for a second. And then over here, um, it is really just my tops I left all of them I left like my going out tops tank tops t-shirts and then down into the warmer clothes and then down here I decided to do my leggings and then my jeans because I only have a few pair of jeans because I'm a legging kind of girl in the winter but I do have a lot of leggings and I'm hopefully going to expand this more because I just love workout clothes. That's who I am. And then all the extra hangers right there. And then you kind of saw this already. All of the shoes down here. I just tagged all my husband's dress shoes over there in that corner. And then I did most of my shoes on here. And then his shoes for the military over there behind the door. And then all of his military stuff. He is away right now. So there will be a ton more stuff here when he gets back from his trip for the mission. And then this is yoga stuff. And then yeah, that is pretty much it for the closet. That is a broken jewelry like thing, but I have a whole bunch of jewelry in it. I have to wait till I can find one that I like because Target was sold out when I went last time for the jewelry, but we finished. These just got out of hand. I don't wear half this stuff and my husband doesn't wear half this stuff. And I was like, let's just get rid of it. So this will all go in a bag to go to Goodwill or wherever I can find a good place to donate and then all of his Deadpool and Star Wars pops are up here which I'll probably try to just throw in a bag for now. I don't know where we're gonna put them yet. I'm still debating or I might just move them to the guest room for now. I don't know. We'll see. i
But there's something cold in the way you are The things you said Had me going good, but it left a scar You invite me and then you turn me down Get my hopes up and then you're gone we are going to take a little break from deep cleaning the master bedroom. I'm going to go back up and clean the master bathroom and give that closet a deep clean up there. But I wanted to tackle the kitchen first because the dishes just got out of hand. I fall for every word that you say to me. So hard being drawn to you so easily. I am stuck in a loop of chemicals. What's the point? This is just a homemade vinegar kind of, I don't know, spray. It's in a dish soap bottle. It's not done dish soap that I'm spraying all over my counters, which you could use it for that too. But it's actually like a vinegar spray because of the kids letting bugs in. And I just wanted to kind of deter the gnats and the flies and whatever else I could figure out. So I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. I got these new like bug light things you'll see them in the next video because they weren't here in time for this video but they work pretty well i've had them in the kitchen and it seems to be working have told me just to give you time weekends are passing by like everything is fine i know this is so delusional I think I lost myself, I think I lost it all 
You know it's true I've been thinking about you You made me feel so safe Right when you told me you were mine But I'm too late I can't undo my mistakes The time's run out And I'm left standing wet here in the rain The same old cloud hanging over my head God, I wish you were here to save me from myself It feels the same The days goes on, but that's okay Why can't you stay? Right here with me I'm cutting down the wires I know I'm looking tired I think I lost myself I think I lost it all You know it's true I've been thinking about you You made me feel so safe Right when you told me you were mine But I'm too late I can't undo my mistakes The time I do not care what time of year it is. I love pumpkin spice. I love the smell of it. So I'm going to use this linen spray and spray down this couch just because my dogs lay on this all the time while I'm working in my office. But yeah, don't judge me. I absolutely love fall everything. It is the next morning and I'm going to make my bed because I did wash the linen yesterday, as you saw in the video, but I was so tired last night after just finishing up the dishes and everything that I decided to just not film making the bed last night because I really didn't. I just threw the sheet and the mattress protector back on and the pillowcases and called it good. So I'm going to make the bed and then we are going to tackle the bathroom. And I'm left standing wet here in the rain. The same cloud hanging over my head. God, I wish you were here to save me from myself. Now into the bathroom, as you can see, my vanity is a mess. I still have yet to put away my makeup from vacation. So we'll be tackling that, getting some drawers in the vanity kind of organized. You can see the bag that we use for our hygiene still sitting on the floor. <laughs> and then when I was trying to get the vacuum worked, I made a big mess next to the trash can. The trash can was full, just yeah, this bathroom really needed a deep clean, especially the toilets. I'm not going to clean the shower because I did that in last week's video. And then I'm showing you the closet. Not too bad on the shelves, but the floor is a disaster. You can see that this is a catch-all for storage, things I don't know what to do with. Toilet paper is just thrown in there. It is a mess. And then I have all of my cleaning supplies over here kind of organized. I used the same storage from the last house that I used in that closet and this closet. And then, yeah, like I said, the floor, it is, is a disaster. We are going to tackle it today and get this bathroom looking more presentable and just clean because I just feel like it needs to be done. It's so bad. But anyway, I want to do my highs and lows before I forget. I know in last week's video, I totally forgot, but that's okay. Sometimes life just happens. Anyway, my high to this week, there's actually two. I'm so excited. The high to my week is the first one being my husband comes home. Actually, there's three. The first one is my husband comes home. The second one is that my bonus daughter comes home because they start school the second week of August. I know it has flown by. And then the third, I'm so excited. I am getting a new vehicle. I am trading in my van. I realize that the van life is just not for me. I feel like the car that I chose is my spirit vehicle. Like people have spirit animals. I have a spirit vehicle. Like I feel like if I get in this car right out the gym, like I'm going to be like, yes, I am a bad ass. You know, I'm not going to finish that sentence, but that is just me and my personality. Like I am so excited. I'm going to show some organization in that car. I already have things planned. Like I said, it's in my Amazon cart. I'm going to probably end up buying it just because I'm so excited. <laughs> I never organize my car. I've never felt like that about a car, but I am so excited. I cannot wait to show you guys. It will be in a TikTok, probably not really on here, or I might do a little clip in the video once I get it. I'm waiting to hear back from the dealership if they were able to get it from another dealership because they did not have one in stock. So I am waiting. I'm waiting patiently, guys. Just 
Oh, I cannot wait to show you guys. Oh, I'm so excited. Anyway, those are my highs. Low. Hmm. What would be my low this week? I don't really have a low this week. I feel like my low this week would be the same as every week is the fact that I still don't have internet. Like, come on now. Spectrum needs to get their crap together. I'm, yeah. Anyway, let's get back to organizing. Please let me know down below what your highs and lows are. And yeah, let's get into this. It's true. Get you out my head I think you stole my soul Shadows creeping everywhere I want you here so badly I can't get you out my head I think you stole my soul Shadows creeping everywhere I want you here You know it's true I've been thinking about you You make me feel so sad cleaning up this bathroom and tackling the closet I kind of just wanted to jump on here because I know that cleaning the bathroom can be kind of boring but we all need to do it because you know how disgusting bathrooms can get especially with all of our makeup and hair tools and then just using the bathroom like it definitely needs clean it needs disinfected but anyway while I'm doing this I just wanted to kind of bring up I did sign up the two boys for baseball and t-ball and I have never had my boys on a team they were in karate with their older sister, but it wasn't like a team atmosphere. And if you missed a day, no one cared or batted an eye, you know, and you can go as many times a week. I know when it comes to baseball and t-ball, like people say that it's really strict. Like you need to be there for every game, every practice, which I'm going to try to, but again, as a working mom, a military spouse, and just being busy, like we do travel to see my family a lot during the year. I try to do it around the kids' school schedules, and I just didn't know if it was like that big of a deal. I'll see once they get put on a team and we find out more and get information. But if you guys have any suggestions on where to buy the stuff they need to wear or any tips and tricks for the games or just really the practices, really anything baseball-related and t-ball-related, let me know. 
Um, I'm really excited for them to start something like this. It's going to be big for my five-year-old who struggles. He is on the spectrum. So he is already struggling in a school environment. So I'm hopefully hoping that a team won't be too hard for him because he gets really shy and he does not like loud noises. It freaks him out. He covers his ears and has a whole on panic attack. I'm hoping to get him over those fears because I feel like if I feed into it too much, then he's never going to get over it and be able to function through it. And that's just not what I want for my kids. I want them to be able to face their fears and things they don't like instead of cowering and hiding, if that makes sense. I know that some of you might not agree, and this is my opinion. This is how I'm raising my kids. You do not have to raise your kids like I raise my kids, but that's just who I am. I'm just trying to figure it all out. But if you guys have any tips or suggestions, please let me know down in the comments. Are finally done in the bathroom thankfully i felt like just cleaning the bathroom is such a big task especially to deep clean it but it is done it is organized and i'm so happy the way it looks now i feel more at ease with it clean and organized but now we are going into the living room and we are going to take all the blankets off the couch i had blankets on the couch because of the dogs and they were just starting to smell and i wanted to make sure that they got a good clean i love having just a fresh clean home especially the living room when you're sitting in there just the feeling of cleanliness just makes me so happy i am so excited to get this house in order <music> You might be able to hear my kids upstairs, but 
I am making a deodorizer spray for the couch because I just felt like it still had a lingering smell from the dogs. So I'm just using hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, a little bit of Dawn liquid soap, and then the peppermint essential oils, which you can also use tea tree oil from what I read online. And this stuff worked really well. I've been using it like crazy now on every single couch surface because it just really gets rid of all of the smell. Like I don't smell anything anymore. Like it's so nice. It leaves a clean smell. And again, I'm sorry for my kids, but they're home. What can I say? Um, I'm trying to finish up this video for you guys. I know it's a long one today, but I just had so much deep cleaning I needed to get done in my house. I just got so overwhelmed with it all. And then I really want to mop my floor. So please keep watching until the end. It will give you all of this cleaning motivation. Once you've seen all the things, all the places, I hope it means that you come home to me. Once you travel the world, all the spaces inside your heart. Before I started mopping, I just wanted to show you how cute the boys were being. I know that this is a mess, but that's life as a mom. They make messes. And even though I'm cleaning in one room, the other room could completely be destroyed from them playing and just having fun. But I have had to learn to rein in my OCD after having kids and just realize that this time goes so fast and to not let them enjoy their childhood because I don't like mess and clutter. That's just not fair to them. So I have learned to deal with this and I just let them play and then we will clean up Daddy before bed. Have me. Dad have Bubba. Yeah. Yeah. That's daddy and Bubba. Um, that's my son Caden, by the way. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to finish up here in today's video by mopping. It just really needed done. I felt like the house was just gross and sticky. And with three and five year olds, there's popsicle juice everywhere. I don't know what they get all over the floor, but it's everywhere. So I wanted to mop really quick. And I am so glad you guys clicked on today's video. And I cannot wait to see you guys back in next time. Look at those beautiful stars. I want to drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. No, no, nothing can break me.
Cause I wanna drive a faster car Lay my troubles to rest Blow the smoke through my cigarette City lights looking fine Actually, really quick, I totally forgot there was more to this video when I was doing voiceovers, but I wanted to bring this rug down. I had it in my kitchen the last time that I lived in my last house, and I absolutely love the colors in it. It is colorful, which is surprising for me, but I just love it, and I feel like this is an easier way than having the mud and the whatever all over the floor when people are walking through the kitchen through the garage. It just, I don't know, it makes my feet happy. I don't know how to explain it, but I am going to deep clean it really quick and you'll see how gross this got from the last house and this house. <laughs>